In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ActionScript 2 code to make a movie stop, play, and also rewind. So starting out, click on ActionScript 2 to make a new ActionScript 2 file. And I'm going to just make a very, very basic motion tween. So using the colors I already have selected, I'm going to draw out a square. Double click on it to highlight everything, both the stroke and the fill, and insert a motion tween. It'll ask me to change it into a symbol. And there we go. My timeline goes from 1 to 24. On frame 24, I'm going to drag it over here. If I play the animation, very simple. If I press Control Enter to test the movie, it just loops over and over. What I'd like now are a few buttons right here that I could click on that would make it pause, play, and start. So I need to make new symbols, insert new symbol, and I'm just going to call this play. And notice that it's type button. Okay, there's my play button in my library. I'm going to duplicate the play button in just a second. Actually, I'm going to draw a simple... Uh, that looks too much like the previous shape, so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to get rid of my stroke, and let's say the play button is green. That kind of makes sense. Okay, so there's my simple play button. That's all I'm going to do to it. Um, I'm going to simply insert keyframes here across the board, and I could change these later for now. They'll just all stay green. Okay, and I'm going to go back to scene one and drag out this symbol. So there's my play button up there. Oop, just kidding. I'm going to make a new layer first because we need a new layer and I'll call it buttons. Okay, so in my buttons layer there's my play button. Making the other two buttons will be a little quicker because I'm just simply going to right click and duplicate. I'll name this one stop. I'll duplicate again, and I'll name this one Rewind. And just for ease of viewing, I will edit the Rewind from blue, from uh, from green. I'll change it into let's go with this purple, a uh, pink color, and I'll drag that out for Rewind over here. And in the middle, I'll do my Stop button, and I'll let's, do, let's just do red for that keep it easy red okay back on scene one now if I play it it looks like this if I press control it looks like this I forgot to take out my red button there we go so now I've got my green play button red stop button and my pink rewind button okay control enter to test it if I hover over these these two are going to change green because I didn't change that part of the button and that's fine but none of them do anything if I click nothing happens so here's the part where we have to insert action script to code so simply clicking on one of them and notice that I'm not editing the button itself okay if I double click here now I'm editing the button itself I'm in scene one and I'm simply going to right click on the button I want to add code to and go to actions the actions panel will pop up. Here it is. I'm going to type three lines of code really. On and then in parentheses release. Close parentheses. It's very important to get this exactly right. We can't do capitals. Um, you have to pay attention to the case of the letters. And then the open curly bracket, it's to the right of the P on the keyboard. And as soon as I hit return there it added in the closing curly bracket over here so this is the basic format except for one more line in the middle I need to type play and then open and close parentheses and a semi semicolon to end the line I don't have to do anything after this I can just sort of click out of the window and try it again okay and I click on it, nothing happens, but I, I guess that's kind of what we'd expect because the command I told it to do was play. Let's try then the stop button. If I right click and go to actions, I'll do the same code to start with. 
in parentheses I type release do my curly brackets and then type stop instead of start click off of the screen press control enter if I click the red button it stops if I click the green button it plays stop play and I could I could pause and, and play this all I wanted I need to now do the rewind button but before I do I want to show you how to get back and edit the code perhaps you made a mistake well how do you get back to the code it's as simple as clicking on one of the buttons right clicking and going to actions and the actions panel will appear now you'll notice in the actions panel that there are the buttons over here. Here's the code for my play button. Here's the code for my stop button. Notice that the code changes. So if I click play button, it says play. If I click stop button, it says stop. I'm going to need to add code for my third button. Okay, but before I do, I just want to discuss what this code actually means. Well, it's pretty easy to figure out what stop and play mean. But how about, how about this? On release. Well, what this code is really saying is that this this code is only going to happen on a release of the mouse while it's over that button. And let me show you what I mean. If I play the movie again, when I click down, I just clicked, it did not stop. Only when I release the button, and right now I'm releasing the button, it stops. And when I do the play button, it's the same thing. If I click, nothing happens, but if I release, now it plays. So that's what on release means. Last button, right click on the one we need, and this code is going to look slightly different, but not much. I'm still going to do on release, and then inside my curly brackets now, I'm going to type go to and play. So it looks like this. Go to and play. And now in parentheses, here, I actually need to say something. I need to tell it what frame to go to. So if I wanted it to go to frame 12, then I would say go to frame 12. If I wanted it to go to frame 1, I'd say go to frame 1. Let's try it at frame 1. So stop, play, stop, play. Those work. What if I click OK? So now as soon as I click this, click it a whole bunch of times. Every time I click it, it rewinds. Now what if I just wanted to go back to the beginning but then stop at the very beginning? Well, believe it or not, there's another code that looks pretty much the same. If I go to Actions, okay, and I, I'm right now, you can tell what button I'm working with because it says Rewind down here. And I could also, just to make sure I could click on Rewind there, I could go to Go To and Stop. Okay, and again, pay attention to the lowercase and capital letters here. So, play my movie. Good. When I clicked rewind, it went to the very beginning and stopped. If I click play, it starts up again. And that is the, those are the basics of adding code to your buttons to make them actually do something play, stop, and then using go to and play or go to and stop. Those are really the some of the main timeline control um, pieces of code you're going to want to be using.